subscribe to Gizmo Times and get notified about our latest videos by hitting the bell icon. Hey guys, welcome to the part 2 of the Samsung Galaxy uh, A50 tips and tricks. The first one we had talked about uh, the personalization of options. The second video is about a few other things that's gestures, Bixby, that's uh, the Samsung Smart Assistant. The first thing is about the advanced features where we talk about the Bixby. There's no power, there's no dedicated button for Bixby, so you can use the power key for Bixby. And here, there's one interesting that, uh, thing that you just don't uh, press the power button and leave it. While you're using Bixby, you'll have to keep pressing it continuously while you ask your question. So uh, once you set up Bixby by using your Samsung account, only then when you uh, talk, talk to Bixby, you have to keep pressing uh, the power button and then ask the question and don't leave it until it's connected to the server and uh, check for your question. You saw here that once we left the power key, it did not even respond back. So we had to ask the same question again by pressing the power button and then leave it. Only then it sent the question to the server and got the answer back. So there's one way of using it, that is this. So hold the power button and ask Bixby the question that you wanted to. And that's the only option for Bixby and that is with using the power key. Otherwise you can still go, go to the Bixby from home screen and use it. But this is an easier way by using the power key. And if you turn it off, it's the regular options that's uh, the switching off or restart of the phone. So now let's talk about the motion and gesture features. Uh, this is quite a big list here and starting uh, with the lift to wake option. Lift to wake is where whenever you lift the phone from any flat surface, it would actually wake up the screen for you without having the, to press the power button. So if it's on the flat surface like this, lifting it would actually wake up the screen and if you have the face unlock uh, enabled there, it would unlock the phone for you. Next one is a common feature that's double tap to wake which is now a common feature on most of the Android phones started from LG back then now it's commonly available here. Whenever the screen is off you can double tap on that to wake up the screen and then unlock it. Third one is smart stay, smart stay we cannot give a demo here but in case you are reading something on the phone and even if the auto switch off of the screen is active smart stay would use the camera to see if you are looking at it and keep the screen active. Uh, the next one is this where uh, whenever you uh, have the smart alert wherever you uh, get a call and you pick up the phone it would automatically turn off the ringtone and third one the uh, this one is the easy mute option where you can mute the incoming calls and alarms by putting your hand over the screen and turning your uh, uh, phone on the other side so that is uh, one interesting feature where you can keep the phone uh, keep your hand on the phone uh, to turn uh, to turn the ringtone off next one are these the first one is one handed mode quite a handy feature one handed mode would reduce the side or rise of the screen this is a 6.4 in screen size so obviously it won't be easy to use for everyone and that's where the one handed mode would come to use where it would e actually reduce the size of the interface and there are two options here one is the gesture based one and the third, next one is the button based uh, option and you can have either one of them active not both of them together so if you go to the button uh, thing you have to you can press on the home button three times and it would activate the one handed mode on one of the sides you can just change the side very easily from left to right right to left and uh, pressing on the empty area would actually uh, bring back the size to the normal one. Next one is the gesture based uh, option where you can swipe up diagonally from the entire uh, screen corner. So this is how you can swipe up from the corners of the screen. If you swipe it from the left, the 100 mode would uh, go to the left and from the right it would go to the right. So it's very easy to activate 100 mode and it's very handy to use 100 mode whenever you want to use it in case you don't want to use uh, both the hands together to easily uh, use the device sometimes you would want to use it with the same hand and that is when it would come to use next one is on how to take a screenshot screenshot taking is always easy with the physical buttons where you have to press the power button as well as the volume down button and it will take the screenshot but in case you want to use a gesture there's one gesture on the galaxy a50 that is uh, using your palm swipe so if you're on the screen where you want to take a screenshot using your palm from uh, center of the phone towards the corner it would actually take a screenshot for you so that is quite an interesting and uh, good gesture but these are the things that I would usually avoid because it would take battery uh, and it would keep waiting for your uh, gestures so it's better to use the physical buttons but in case you don't want to use that you can always use that palm gesture. The last one is this uh, the swipe thing this is one of those features where uh, I would uh, have seen earlier as a default feature but now Samsung has that under the gestures where you can swipe on the contact to actually call or message the contact. So these are the different modes. Next one is the dual messenger. This was one feature that was common on the Oppo phones, Xiaomi phones, Vivo phones where you can use the same app for two accounts uh, like the Facebook, WhatsApp and these things when you are using multiple SIMs you can use the two WhatsApp accounts on the same phone and that is where the dual messenger feature would come uh, handy in the Samsung Galaxy A50. 
and this part of the one ui where you can actually use two accounts of whatsapp and facebook this is under the advanced features of the settings of the galaxy a50 in case you want to use this one so dual messenger is one very good feature uh, to use multiple accounts of the same app on your smartphone and uh, this is how it would actually turn on and then if you go to the home screen you'll see two versions of the same application uh, that is facebook and then the facebook uh, dual facebook where you see that option towards the bottom corner of the right right side of the icon uh, so if you go to the app list here you see that there's one facebook and there's this one that is the facebook's uh, second version this is the default one and the second one so there's the dual messenger on the samsung galaxy a50 or the one ui so you'll see the same thing on the samsung galaxy a30 as well and this feature would actually come very handy last one is this game launcher game launcher is one feature that would uh, uh, give you some good experience while gaming but it won't just uh, help you reduce, increase the performance of the smartphone uh, while playing games but also do quite a few other things as well under the game launcher you can actually set which games to use this launcher with and you can then uh, try to have the sounds on or off uh, the game sound will be muted but your phone volume won't change that is one thing with the game uh, launcher and the other things include this uh, that is the performance mode and you can change uh, the modes here you can rather have on uh, focus on power saving where the performance is reduced then there's a balanced option and then third one is uh, to rely on the performance itself so games like pubg mobile you want the third option to be active and for the other basic games you can use the first one so this is all about the game launcher and the different gestures and motion settings keep checking on for the other tips and tricks of the samsung galaxy a50 and subscribe to this for more thank you for watching and see you in our next video